As many of you know, lately I've been taking on some pretty big DIY projects, and that's all well and good, except for the fact that I tend to have tunnel vision, and other important things like nutrition have kind of fallen off my radar. And while it's true I love to cook, I have definitely not been prioritizing it, and that is why I'm glad that the sponsor of today's video exists, which is Factor. Factor makes meeting my nutrition goals easier than ever by delivering delicious, fresh, never frozen, chef curated meals to my doorstep. There's no prepping, cooking, or cleaning up. You just pop your food in the microwave or the oven, and it'll be on your table in as little as two minutes. You can choose from a weekly menu of 35 different meals, including options to suit whatever your specific goals are, like there's calorie smart, vegan, vegetarian, keto, or the category that I personally choose from most of the time, which is protein plus. I love that Factor is really flexible, so I have the option to adjust my order size or even skip a week if I all of a sudden get on a cooking kick again. So if this sounds like something that would interest you, you could head on over to factor75.com or click the link in my description, put in code Beatrice 50 at checkout and get 50% off your first box and 20% off your next one. That's code Beatrice 50 at factor75.com for 50% off your first box, 20% off your next one. Huge thank you to Factor for sponsoring this video. The goal for today has been the same goal that it has been for the past like two, three weeks now, which is finish this freaking chicken coop. The goal for tomorrow is guinea pig haircut. I'm looking at you, gazpacho. Holy shit. You glorious woolly beast. Let's go to Lowe's. We started off the day putting together the entire front side of the run and everything went smoothly until we got to the door, which I didn't really film us making. You'll notice a trend of me not filming the parts that stump us because setting up the camera gets put on the back burner to solving the problem. But we did eventually figure out how to make it work. It's very basic and no doubt there's a better design out there, but this works all right. We then hung wire cloth on the front and called it a day. The next morning, I got started measuring out and cutting the vinyl, which by the way was the cheapest available. It was on sale for 50 cents a square foot. I know it is ugly as shit, but it's going to be covered in literal shit. And several inches of bedding anyway, so I was not concerned at all with the pattern. I was dreading working with a giant piece of vinyl, but it was actually really easy to work with. We just stapled it to the plywood and then cut the excess, and the seam along the wall is going to be covered with baseboards later on, so the chickens can't get to the edges and pry it up. Our next task was yet another door, this time an automatic chicken door, and I did not again feel much of the process for because if there's anything that you take away from this video is that doors are hard. So instead of any kind of video evidence, enjoy this still photo of the door that Stevie took to show his friends on Discord that I asked him to send me later on while editing this at night. Good morning. I'm dehydrated. You could tell because my lips are extra crusty. Got insane sinus pressure going on. Just woke up, look like shit. But we are getting the band back together for morning walks with Wedgman because the weather is finally decent enough for Wedgman's cold bones. It's probably still gonna be bundled up, let's be honest. Did not finish the chicken coop yet. Um, who knew small things like a door, well actually two doors, like the door to the chicken run and the door for the chickens to come in and out of would have been such a kerfluffle, but the devil is in the details. I don't really know what that saying means, but I feel like it's that. <laughs> like the smaller things are harder to do than the bigger things. Or maybe it was that like the things that we messed up on on the big things are coming to bite us in the, the smaller more intricate details which is probably more likely but anyways let's go pick up the wedge aka elmo aka my mom oh god <laughs> when jamo hold on no when jamo <gasps> Thank you. 
It's raining. I went out there and saw how the structure we built was holding up. Uh, <laughs> we might need to change a few things as far as like the roof because there's no overhang, even though I allotted for some, but I didn't allot for there being a four foot post and then putting a two by four on that four foot post, which took up all the allotment. So it just fit the sheet metal that I put. So we're gonna need to like get another piece of sheet metal and make an overhang so the water doesn't go down the wall and then splash into the chicken coop. Other than that, it's pretty solid. But the rain is a good excuse to not work on it today. Instead, I figure we could catch up on some things that I need to do in the form of guinea pig haircuts. Gaspacho is a pretty chill fella because I'm pretty sure I'd be so scared seeing a giant wielding huge shears at me, but it's also very possible that he just didn't see it coming all together, because the boy is furry. The aftermath of the haircut could form a whole other guinea pig, and I'm not gonna lie, the cut is very much giving function over beauty, but he can see, so mission accomplished. The next day, it was back on the chicken grind. Even though, not gonna lie, it feels like this project is never ending. Our first and only task for the day turned out to be putting up the hen box, which is where the eggs will be happening. We bought this prefab laying box that's a bit bougie because the eggs are supposed to just roll out. The reason behind buying prefab was to save some time and honestly probably to save some sanity too because girl, I am petered. And the thought of building one at this point was not appealing in the slightest. So definitely worth the money in that regard. Could you pretend to be a ticket, please? Camera. Well, they're not gonna shoot it out their ass. <laughs> Is that rolling? Yeah. I'm, just, I'm letting. I'm putting it down and I'm letting it go. What if they? First of all, apologies. I have appeared to rub my mascara and there is just no remedying that at this time of night. <laughs> I realized that I didn't do a proper sign off to this video. I am behind on absolutely everything. I feel like I have like a million projects going on right now and I don't really feel like I'm making much progress on any of them, but I just want to thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a wonderful day and I will see you on the next one. Bye!